In this problem, we're going to be dealing with a couple of different radical functions and finding their domain, their x-intercept, their y-intercept, and then drawing a reasonable graph of the functions. So let's look at the first function. f of x equals the square root of 4 minus x. So I'm going to start, actually, by graphing that on my calculator. So I'm going to go to my y equals, and then I'm going to use my second function to get to the square root, and then 4 minus x. I'm going to move my arrow out so I get away from the radical. I'm going to check my window, and I'd like to start on a negative 10 to 10 window for both x and y, so let me change that here. My y min is 5, so let me make that negative 10, and then my y max, make that 10. All right, let's graph and get an idea of what we're working with here. So it looks like our function starts at 4, 0, goes through 0, 2, and my domain is going to be all x's less than or equal to 4. So let's see how we can verify that by hand. To find the domain of a square root function, you set what's under the radical greater than or equal to zero because you want what's under the radical to be positive because we can't take the square root of a negative number. The easiest way to solve this inequality is to add x to both sides. If I do that, I get 4 is greater than or equal to x. I can change the order all the way around, which is the same as saying x is less than or equal to 4. There is by domain, and that's confirmed by the picture on our calculator. To find the x-intercept, I'm going to set, essentially, the square root of 4 minus x to 0. But because it's 0 that I want as an output, I can just put what's under the radical to 0. And let's see why. Again, to solve this, I add x to both sides, and I get that x equals 4. So if I check that, I'm going to evaluate f of 4. So I have the square root of 4 minus 4 is the square root of 0, which is 0. So I don't need to include the square root here. All I need to know is when 4 minus x is 0 because the square root of 0 is 0. So I'm OK here. Therefore, my x-intercept is 4, 0. To find the y-intercept, I let x equal 0. So I'm going to evaluate f of 0. So that's 4 minus 0, square root. And that's the square root of 4, which is 2. Therefore, 0, 2 is my y-intercept. So let's see how all that looks. 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's label these 0, 2, and 4, comma, 0. And because this is a radical function, we kind of know the shape, and we also have verification on our calculator. So I'm going to draw my function here and label it as f of x.